today I am going to do a tutorial for you guys and I really miss doing tutorials and today I'm going to try something a little bit different. Um, I always pretty much improvise the looks unless I state otherwise and I say oh this is like an everyday look that I wear a lot or something like that but usually I just kind of go with it, let my creative juices flow and just apply makeup and have fun and um, I'm going to do the same thing today but I'm actually going to start out uh, with kind of a blank slate and let you guys see more of the process and just start from scratch with you guys so I hope you enjoy this let me know if you like this style better or if you like the like uh, me showing you the finished product first and then showing you how to get the look um, so yeah hopefully this will turn out well so today's look is going to be fall inspired. Fall is rapidly approaching and I absolutely love fall. It is my favorite season and I'm wearing a fall headband. Um, it's like an olive green like elastic headband with a, um, a little like fall leaf. It has like kind of orange tones and stuff. I don't know if you guys can see that because I'm kind of turning my head. There we go. So I think it's really, really cute. It's really like subtle. It's not like big and tacky. Um, and this was from Juicy Couture. It actually came in like a three pack and I got it on clearance a while ago. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, the one thing I wanted to show you guys was Chanel in their fall collection has this really gorgeous eyeliner. And this is called Khaki uh, Poissio, I think. I don't know. Uh, that's what it looks like. And it's kind of like a khaki, kind of olive green with gold shimmer. And I really, really, really wanted to incorporate that into the look that I'm doing today. And it matches my nails. Um, and this is Sephora by OPI's I Only Shop Vintage. Um, and those are on sale, like I told you guys, in my one Sephora haul thing. So uh, I really wanted to use kind of this color family, so I'm just going to go with it. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is take my Laura Mercier uh, Eye Basics, it's like an eye primer and it's in the color Linen, and it looks like this. And uh, the thing that I find with this is that it's really smooth and silky if you apply it v the very first thing that you do. Um, and it helps with my, um, like I kind of have veiny eyelids, uh, so it kind of helps like tone that down and it's it's an eye primer so you don't need to put any other eye primer on um, but it also just kind of conceals a couple of imperfections on your eyelids before you apply eyeshadow so I highly recommend this you just have to put it on first because I've noticed that with the texture if you put on like your foundation and everything first and I always put a little bit of foundation on my eyelids it doesn't go very well over other products and it looks really clumpy and not very good so it's so the first thing I apply so I put it on my eyelids and then I take some and I go underneath as well I don't know if you can tell but it definitely brightens up your eye area and um, helps just kind of neutralize everything so then I take my face primer this is Smashbox Photo Finish, and it's oil-free, and you only need a little, little bit of this, because you don't want to make your face greasy, you just want to help uh, do like a really thin layer all over your face so that your foundation stays all day. Alright, and then next I'm going to do my eyes um, before I do my foundation. So I think I'm going to use my um, Tarina Tarantino uh, Emerald Pretty Palette. And the reason being is that it has this really gorgeous kind of forest green and then it has that really gorgeous kind of golden olive color. And it has like a brown and a lighter color so I think this will be really good for um, kind of enhancing that Chanel eyeliner. So. I'm going to take my MAC 217, I think I'm going to start out with the very wicked olive green color. And I'm taking off a little bit of like the fallout on the back of my hand. 
and I'm just applying that right to my crease area. I'm going to dust it on the lid a little bit. Alright, and then next I'm going to take the Sawdust Heart on the other side of my 217 brush. And that's that deep brown. I'm going to just going to like deepen the green color. All right, now I'm gonna take my MAC uh, 239 brush, sorry. <laughs> it's kind of fading a little bit, um, and take the dandelion kind of olive color and just place that on top of the other two colors. Just kind of focusing on the center of my lid. And I'm not rubbing, I'm just kind of dabbing it onto there. I zoomed in so hopefully you guys can see better. And now I'm going to take the Chanel liner. And I'm just going to kind of make a thicker line. Then give it a wing. All right, and then I'm going to take the liner and put it in my waterline. Then I'm going to take Sawdust Heart, the dark brown again, and I'm going to take that on a MAC. 219 and just kind of smoke it out underneath that liner. Then I'm going to take Dandelion and kind of place that over the Sawdust Heart. Just for a pop of color underneath. Next, I think I'll do a pop of gold. So I'm going to take my Make It Forever uh, Flash. Is it the Flash palette? Yeah, the Flash palette. Um, it's the one with the colors. And I'm going to take the gold in that. Sorry, for some reason that is just not focusing. Sorry. Um, and I'm going to take my MAC 212. Get a little bit of gold. Then I'm going to kind of just work it on the back of my hand because you don't want to get a huge chunk of gold on your eye. And use it to kind of pop underneath.
So something I've found myself doing a lot lately is layering eyeliners. So as gorgeous as that Chanel color is, um, I want just a little bit more of a pop and a little bit more definition. So I'm taking a Lancome Art Liner in brown. It might be dark brown. Um, and just really thinly lining um, my lash line. And that's why I did kind of a thicker line of the Chanel so that you don't cover the Chanel liner. You just add a little bit more definition with another liner. All right, and then um, I'm going to kind of highlight. So I'm going to use a Torino Tarantino brush. This is a 56 crease brush. And take the lightest color, Glinda's Kiss. And I'm going to take it off on the back of my hand a little bit just to get kind of the chunky glitter out. And then just start in the inner corner and bring it out. Alright, so I've applied mascara and now I'm going to apply foundation um, just to kind of get a feel for where my eyes are at and then I can always add just a little bit more as a finishing touch at the end. So foundation that I'm going to use is the uh, Givenchy Photo Perfection foundation. It has SPF 20 and it is in the color number one or perfect ivory. And this stuff is absolutely amazing. Um, it kind of reminds me of Makeup Forever HD foundation but it's just a little bit uh, just has a little bit more of a better finish and it doesn't look. Uh, I find that the Make It Forever one is really kind of touchy if you add too much. Um, it just looks really cakey. So uh, I had to pump it a lot of times because I'm almost out of the, this stuff. So I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown foundation brush and I'm going to take this Clinique Moisture Surge uh, face spray and give my brush a spray. And then get some foundation, start working it into my skin. And the reason I spray the brush is uh, just to make sure that the foundation spreads really nicely and it just makes it also so that your face gets more of the product and not um, that the brush so soaks it all up. Alright, so that's my foundation, and now I'm going to use my YSL uh, like anti-aging multi-action concealer in number one. And the way I apply this is that it's like kind of like a lipstick almost, and so I just put a little bit underneath my eye. And 
and then I just take my foundation brush and blend it in. So after I use uh, that foundation, I feel like it gives me such a flawless finish. I don't really need to um, cover up too many spots, but um, I'm just going to use a little bit of the Bobbi Brown corrector. Uh, this spot right here. I just use my finger to apply this. I just lightly dab. I don't rub. use a little bit on the sides of my nose. Alright, and then um, I'm going to use a little bit of the Becca Skin Perfector uh, Opal Shade Sample that I showed you guys in my Sephora haul. And um, one time when I squeezed it out, I accidentally got too much, so I just put it in this little like MAC jar. Um, I'm going to take a little bit on my finger, dab it on my face, a little bit right there. I find if I put it on my nose, it makes my nose look kind of oily, so um, I wouldn't recommend putting it there. And then I just take my foundation brush, just kind of blend it in. It just adds a really kind of subtle, um, healthy glow. So now I think I'm going to take my, hmm, I think I'm going to take my MAC 219 brush and just kind of re-blend that out just a little bit. The reason I'm doing this is because when I applied my foundation it kind of created like a barrier between the um, base makeup and then the eye makeup. So I just want to kind of make sure it looks a little more seamless. Now I'm going to fill in my brows because as you can see they are very light. I don't know why. Um, they're just really light so I'm going to start out by combing them down with this Laura Mercier just little eyebrow comb thing. And then I take my um, brow brush from uh, Bare Minerals. I take my Laura Mercier Brow Duo in Deep Blonde, and I'm going to take the darker shade of the two, and start by kind of creating a line at the top. And then I start filling them in a little bit more. And then I take my comb and I comb them up. And I fill them in anywhere that needs it. I try to really blend it out right here just because um, it, if you have it look really kind of dark it'll um, look quite obvious that you filled in your eyebrows. So now I'm going to powder my face and this is the Makeup Forever um, setting powder and this isn't my favorite powder ever. Uh, I got it in a Make Forever set, so it's kind of, uh, it blows up smoke every time I open it, or like, you know, powder. 
Um, it's just really powdery. So I just get like the tiniest bit on the lid and then take my Cherina Tarantino powder brush, the number 12, and just kind of get it on the brush and then work most of it off on the back of my hand and then just I mostly just put it underneath my eyes to set that and just a little bit everywhere else. I just only need a tiny tiny little bit of powder just to make sure my face doesn't look like greasy or anything throughout the day but um, my face my skin is mostly dry so um, I don't need like a heavy powder or anything. So I forgot to do this step earlier but I take my Chanel um, Hydromax Active Lip Care and this is just kind of a lip balm. It's really moisturizing. It's um, it's very light. It's not like chapstick. It doesn't feel waxy at all. I really recommend this for moisturizing your lips and just creating the perfect primer for applying lipstick. So for lipstick, I think I am going to use the Chanel Rouge Cocoa in number 38 for Superstition. And this is a really pretty beige color with um, gold shimmer. It has a hint of peachy, uh, like kind of fleshy color in there. But um, first I think I'm going to use a little bit of lip liner. So this is the Too Faced Perfect Lips uh, Lip Liner in Perfect Nude. So I lined my lips, but I kind of like maybe did a little bit of exaggeration just uh, to make them look a little fuller, but I always blend it out with my finger. And then I'm going to take my lipstick and just apply that. As you can see, this lipstick's really natural and it provides a nice shimmer without uh, looking frosty. So lastly, I'm going to take my Trina Tarantino Doll Skin Cheek Blush in Neapolitan Lane. And it's just really nice and neutral, um, perfect for kind of a smoky eye like this. So I just take my MAC 116 Blush Brush. And I apply this to um, just this area right here, like my cheekbone and a little bit onto the apple of my cheek. I don't bring it in too far here. I just want it to kind of give me more of like definition. And it's really uh, perfect for fair skin. If you like think that bronzer is too dark, because a lot of times bronzer looks really kind of just bad on my face if I don't take pretty much most of it off on the back of my hand and then apply it. Um, it just looks really just not right. Um, so uh, this is like a nice alternative because it's it's a little bit peachier and um, not so like uh, bronzy and it adds nice definition. So that is it for this look. Let me know what you think about um, do you like the way that I did my tutorials before or do you like it um, in this format where I just kind of go with it and uh, you kind of get surprised by the finished look at the end? Uh, just let me know um, what you think and uh, let me know if you like this look and if you're going to try it out and I totally, totally recommend this Chanel eyeliner. Um, they told me at the counter that it was limited edition, but when I looked it up it said it was not limited edition, but it is a really gorgeous color for fall, and I love how it matches my nails. So, um, yeah, that's it for this look. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!